what does success look like for you? How do you define it? Whether it be work, whether it be family, whether it be a combination of the two, what is for you when you go home at the end of the day, you're like, oh, today was a successful day. Like I did. Yeah. I did it. it was a good day. I'll give the the philosophical answer. And I, I think the more practical answer um, for me, it was, it was actually from reading the book, Atomic Habits. Have you read that one? Yep. It's like, um, you don't, you don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the lo- level of your systems. And it's like, uh, I'm a, I'm a big basketball fan, big Kobe Bryant fan. And he was also talking about like, it's a journey, man. I don't, I don't care. Like I care of course for the championships, but what I really have fun doing is getting in the weight room, working on my yeah. game and just part of the journey aspect. That's what I'm having fun with. So that's me. That's my success bar. Cause like, as we talked about and alluded to earlier, as soon as you hit that goal, if you have it as a predefined one, you're going to move the goalpost later on. Yeah. That's just human nature. And I think that's a healthy thing to be honest to do too, but I don't put my happiness to be around the corner. I put my happiness to be in the day to day. Um, the more practical answer is if I feel productive, <laughs> I've actually moved the needle on something that I'm like, God, I was just treading water today. Right? Like that happens a lot too, especially wearing a lot of hats. And I'm like, I think I made an impact on something that I want to launch a marketing campaign or whatever it may be in the future. Yeah. So that's my duality of those answers. Yeah. 